ready amp repair guy dot com two zero three eight nine two four one one nine so we have an ALED B here so I already started diagnosing it the load air variable capacitor isn't moving at all there's a problem with the reduction drive on the plate side uh, the set screw is set screws are loose so it's not turning actually looks like it the reduction drive might be loose in the front panel so I have to take the whole front panel off to get at those the SO239 on the output side has like no grip and is here up in change both they're like really cruddy plastic type too so I'll go through the rest of it and I will give you a report when it's all done so see you guys in a bit 73 okay so I have the two air variable capacitors out I'm going to replace the reduction drives both of them you know just a lot of work you know it takes time so I'm also going to ground the grids right to the metal start doing that I'll check everything else over. You know, someone made a comment, why don't you make a video of the entire repair? You know, the reason for that is, I like, well, two reasons. I love to listen to music when I'm working. I always listen to Pandora, you know, Beatles or whatever. I like all sorts of music, so types of music. So, um, and number two is, a lot of people like short videos, you know. Uh, you know, so... And really, the videos are for so number three. The videos are for more, you know, for to show people how things should be done. You know, how thorough I am, how it's consistent, and so the customer can see what was wrong with their amplifier. You know, um, I started my YouTube uh, channel for those reasons, uh, not really to pull in business. I've always been really busy, but you know, people they see that it's consistent and everything else I talked about. And I get things done quick, like these. Uh, these pieces just showed up from Ameritron, they're in the bag over around here somewhere. Um, so once I get the parts in hand, I get right on it. So I want to get this done, give this guy a total, I'll test it and uh, get this out of here. Another Ameritron AL811 or H showed up today, I have another one over there on the bench and waiting on parts for. It needs all the revisions done, but anyway, I'll show that when I get to it. But Air variable capacitors are in perfect condition. I do have to change SO239. Someone changed them at some point. And they used cruddy ones. So, um, this guy bought it secondhand. So, didn't work when he got it. So, I'm going to get back to work. And this has got a, he purchased the brand new Pentalabs 3500Z. So, he uh, sent that with it. You know, just keep, uh, want to remind people, I'm a Pentalabs distributor, and I give you the tubes for the dealer price. I make nothing off the tubes. So, the uh, process is, send the amp, I, you, if you decide to go through, which 99.9% .9 of the people do, unless it's a total basket case, um, I have them order the tube, and it gets drop shipped here. The reason for that is, I want to test your amp with your tube to make sure there are no surprises when you get it back. Normally there aren't, but every once in a blue moon, you know, there can't be, so I just want to make sure. So I want a nice, happy customer. I want to have them call me up and say, it's working great, love it, you know, yada, yada. So, okay, so I'm going to get back to work, and I will see you guys soon. I'm back with the completed... Ameritron AL80B. I'll go over everything I did real quick. Stay tuned at the end. I have something to say. So, okay, so I replaced the gear reduction drives. So those are all set. I replaced the SO239s. These are really cruddy. You can see the new Teflon ones in there. Put the gas discharge tubes in. I'm going to explain why I do that. Uh, some people beat the crud out of this amp. You're pushing the tube to begin with at what they rate it at. So um, if you have a anode to a filament short, it protects the bias transistor over here. helps protect it. So I got that done. Clean the band switch and the input rotary switch. Grounded the grids right to the metal, tested for uh, full output on all bands, and this thing is good to go. So what I want to say is, I'm seeing a lot of people who are taking amps in that really don't 
know a ton about tube amps and uh, some people who work on transceivers or solid state amps um, you know just trying to figure this stuff out I give people credit but you know I'm very thorough I know all the areas that need to be addressed I'm seeing a lot of amps that like SP220s and stuff that you get it to work send it out the door without doing the self bias mod and all the other stuff I do to protect valuable components that some depending on the amp are components that are unobtainium you just can't get them or they're just rare so just keep that in mind and you know if you send an amplifier in that someone already had their hands in probably gonna want to see pictures because sometimes it's just not worth getting involved with or uh, best case you send it in and it just a lot of times will cost more money because now I have to correct the things that were um, weren't done properly so that's about it my website is ampreparguy.com phone number is 203-892-4119 started working on the front panel I needed a certain size drill bit I didn't have it they do hardware stores over here didn't have it I wasn't about to buy a kit of drill bits just to obtain it and so I ordered that online and I also ordered some painters tape so I can cut the panel without scraping it all up so you get to see that soon I really want to get that uh, amp finished and then I can get on to my other project so thanks for watching and I'll be back soon I don't normally work on weekends, but I am so swamped here. I just got so much to do. I want to get this done. So, thanks for again for watching and 73.